Good morning children. I am your social science teacher. Today let us study about electoral politics children. This is from your political science children. See children when I say politics you will all be knowing what is politics. What is the meaning of politics? The people who are involved in the government affairs. Understand children? This is the chapter electoral politics. You will understand how the representatives are elected today. We are going to study how people are elected. This chapter begins with the topic of why elections are necessary and useful in a democracy children. Then it further explains how electoral competition among parties serve the people. The basic idea that this chapter tries to convey is to distinguish between democratic elections from non-democratic elections. So go through this chapter, this video children, you will be knowing about electoral politics and get a deep understanding of this chapter children. So first thing I want to tell you all is why do we need why do we need elections? This is my question children. Can anybody answer to my question why do we need elections? You will say Ma'am, we need elections because we are in a democratic country, you will say. Yes, that is 100% your answer will be correct that we are in a democratic country. We have got right to vote. So we are electing our leaders, you may say, our representatives. Okay, children. Then there are more than 100 countries in the world in which elections take place to choose People's representatives. Understand? The mechanism by which people can choose their representatives at regular intervals and change them whenever they want it to is called an election. Understood children? The mechanism by which people can choose their representatives at regular intervals that is once in five years and change them when they, whenever they want is called an election. So children, in an election, the voters make many choices. See, in an election, they make many choices here. The first one is, they can choose, see children here, they can choose who will make laws. They can choose who will make laws for them. First point is they will choose who will make laws for them. Then the second one is they can choose who will form the government and take major decisions. They can choose Who will, who will form the government, who will form the government, understand, and take major decisions. I will explain this children. Got it children? In the third point is, they can choose the party whose policies they can choose the party whose policies whose policies will guide the government and lawmaking. And guide the government and the 
लामे की See children, in the first point is they can choose who will make laws for them. It is people's the what we can say is freedom to choose their representatives. The second point, they can choose who will form the government and take major decisions for the welfare of the state, for the welfare of the country children. And the last one is they can choose the party whose policies will guide the government and law making. Understood children? These are the main three important characteristics about the elections. Understand? So the next one is what makes an election democratic? What makes an election democratic? See, minimum conditions of a democratic election include the following points. What are the minimum conditions here is everyone should be able to choose their own representatives. The first point is able to able to choose their to choose their own representatives. The second point is parties and candidates should be free to contest election and should offer some real to the voters. See when they are the second one is they should be free to contest free to contest elections should offer real choice to the voters. People should believe that he is a very genuine person. So even if I elect this particular person, he will rule the country, he will rule the state, he will rule our, uh, if it is a um, corporation election, he will look after our constituency. So keeping all this in mind, people will choose their elect elector children. That is representative. The third one is elections must be held regularly. Elections must be held must be held every few years. Every few years I will write. Because each election depends different dates it will be their children. Okay. So here it is for few years they should be regularly held. The fourth one is People should get elected. The candidate preferred by people. The candidate preferred by people should get elected. Now. Should be elected. Free and fair manner. See children, first one is they should be able to choose their representative. It is their wish children. Okay, nobody should force them that you vote for this party, you vote for that party. Nobody should force anybody. In the second one is parties and candidates should be free to contest for elections and they should offer real choice to the voters. The third one is elections must be held regularly after every few years. It should be end every few years children. And the fourth point is 
the candidate preferred by the people should get elected if they are liking that party and that person they he should be he or she should be elected and the, the last point here is elections should be conducted in free and fair manner where people can choose as they really wish so these are the main five points to make an election democratic children see children here it is the people's wish when we say election only it is the people's election and why the fifth point why he says is that they should be free and fair manner is these days you all know that parties give money they give jewelry they give sari they give food they give so etc etc they go on giving to the people and they ask for the vote you will be watching in the movies and all after the election they never turn up and they never look into the problems of the public so for this they should be held in a free and fair manner corruptions all this should not be there in election so the next one is so children before i move on to the next topic that is is it good is it good to have is it good to have political competition there is a question mark again over here children see before this topic i would like to tell you all is you may have a question in your mind ma'am who will elect see children the citizens of the country who are above the age of 18 years okay with an authentic that he or she has got a birth certificate or your sslc marks card or your school tc you have to show it to the government telling that i am above 18 years and i am eligible for voting then the formalities how you will have to go to elect is you have to seek the corporate corporation office in your locality show this authentic to them take a form you have to fill that form put this xerox to that and hand it over to them then they will if already your parents names are over there in the voters list if their names are there you have to mention your parents serial number in your application form so that you will be added into your parents list only you will come under your parents list only understand children this is how election electron list will be made so after that in the next coming up elections they will give you voter slip you know how the elections takes place in 7th standard you would have done this as an role play yes so this is about the making of a voter list children now coming back to the lesson is it good to have political competitions yes what do you all feel children ma'am yes ma'am we should have do you say or will you think no ma'am do we have only a single party election system in our country no our country has got multi party systems we have got we have got multi party system that is we have got many parties in our country we have got national parties we have got regional parties with there are independent candidates who stand for independently for the election so we are in a multi party system of elections is being conducted in our country children so the first point here is what you will have to remember is elections are all about political competition only this competition takes various forms it will take various forms at the constituency level it takes the form of competition among several candidates that is what i told you we are in a multi party system there will be many candidates who will stand for the election here are a few reasons that support political competition as being good for people 
the first one is the first point here is regular electoral competition provides incentives to political parties and leaders incentives i will write only incentives children so that you can remember the next one is popularity they should have children and i should have in my mind that i will serve the people see children the first thing is here regular electoral competition provides incentives to political parties understand and then second one is political parties know that if they raise issues that people ought to be raised their popularity and chances of victory will increase in the next elections on the contrary if they fail to satisfy the voters with their work they will not be able to win again see if i have been elected as mla of that jangam kote cross example children if you think of like that if i am an mla i should work for you people i should make that area people feel satisfied understand means i should not go every day to them no i should see that the street lights water facility um removing the garbage cleaning up the area so all such things if i be keeping my area neat and clean and sometime when the people come for any help i have to speak to them very soft spoken i should be so with all this i can become famous in the first election and in the second election i need not go to the people at all they themselves will elect me they will say yes so and so person is a very good person he has worked very hard for our area he has made a park for us he has made a gym for us all this you people will think so he should always be popular in that locality so that in the next election people themselves will elect if a political party the third one is motivated only by the desire to be in power despite that it will be forced to serve the people so when i have been elected as a representative i should keep in my mind that i will work only for the sake of the people and i am not going to make money or sit at home after i become a representative no that i should not have it in mind people should think that is the electors should think children so in my next class i will continue with the chapter children thank you all children have a nice day there are a few question and answers and a worksheet being given to you all work it out thank you children have a nice day